having the fun in Shanghai. And this side of the street is European style buildings. And we're gonna go over the river. It's uh, obviously very hazy. But very cool architecture. And this is probably the most famous part of the skyline right there. I'm going to be back here tomorrow. Hopefully, it won't be as uh, hazy. Let them to be the office rooms and the front part, I mean the top part, as his own place, like bedroom and working, like study, something like that. But now, uh, after liberation, the government take control, so they uh, have a new name for it as the Peace Hotel. But now the Peace Hotel is closed. The right. government rebuilt it in order to welcome the World Expo. They rebuilt it, and then something. <laughs> very, very funny for us is they, they say after this one was finished, it will be the most luxurious hotel in Shanghai. And this is something really <laughs> hard to imagine. Of course, inside this peace hotel, every decoration is so beautiful, very luxurious. But for the for this customs building with the big clock and then the bell, for this bell, every 15 minutes in the past time, every 15 minutes it's, it will be great. And the sun is so um, beautiful and the clock. Hello, left side, And the one on the left side of the clock, uh, clock building, the customs building with the round roof. You see the yes. round roof. Uh -huh. Used to be the HSBC building. You know HSBC, Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation. So HSBC building over there used to be, and now it is the bank of what we call Hudong Development Bank. Hu means river, and the Dong means east. It means the east part of the river, east part of Shanghai's bank. But that building, it is still the most expensive building on the bond. Because on the bond, 26 buildings. That one cost over half of the other 25 buildings cost. Really? Because everything inside, they were directly from Britain. 